So you've talked a little bit about blind signatures. I would love if you could explain what blind signatures are and how do they actually work to preserve privacy? Right. Okay. So in cryptography, a blind signature is a type of digital signature in which the content of a message is disguised or blinded before it's signed. So I'll give you, I don't know if this is an analogy or a metaphor, but um, I'll give you an example of voting, um, a non-digital example of voting. So let's say you're voting in an election, you go to the polling place, a, a verifier checks your name against a registry, they see that you're eligible to vote, and they put a stamp on your ballot, and then they put your name on a list to make sure you don't vote twice. So you vote, you, or you put your vote on that ballot, you submit your vote, and then on the other side, there's a vote counter. So they accept your ballot because it's stamped, and then they count your vote. But the vote counter doesn't know who you are, and they don't need to. They just need to know that you are an eligible voter. And the verifier doesn't know, you know they know your name, but they don't know how you voted. So it's about delinking so that one party can't see the entirety of the transaction and link your name to a vote or link your name to any kind of activity. So in blockchain, uh, let's give another example. Let's say you have two parties that want to transact. We'll call them wallet A and wallet B. Sure. So let's say hypothetically that wallet A only will transact with wallet B if wallet B is over the age of 21. So perhaps they're you know buying alcohol. So instead of Wallet B sending their ID to Wallet A and revealing all of this public inf personal information, including allowing Wallet A to know the name of the person and attach the name of that person to a wallet address. What Wallet B does is they share their ID with a verifier that attests to the fact that they're over age 21. So essentially, they give a thumbs up. So you turn that thumbs up into a digital credential that just tells Wallet A, not the person's age, but that they're over a age of 21. So Wallet A, that owner of that wallet, doesn't know anything about the owner of Wallet B other than the fact that they're over the age of 21. So if we look at in real life transactions, the norm is that there's a middleman or a centralized business that can see the entirety of the transaction whether this is an e-commerce platform or a payment provider, um, we can get away with it, get away from this with blind signatures by delinking uh, the, the information so that a party only knows what they need to know. 